this is the brand new Pro Scroller by Plusky. It's a controller attachment that you can put anywhere in your controller, and it functions exactly how a real scroll wheel would. And today, I'm grinding Arena all day on it. You might recognize this scroll wheel that I've used in the past, but that was V2. We've since moved on to the new and improved V3, which is actually so much better. One new thing you'll notice right away is that there's now another part to it, which is an additional button. Alongside that change, the scroll wheel itself is bigger, which is great. And potentially my favorite change of all, the new mounting plates are magnetic, so you can actually slide the scroll wheel around a little bit to perfectly position. So at this point, I have scroll wheel down set to scroll wheel reset, which is actually insane to have on controller. Then I set scroll wheel up to pick up and interact. Then with this new mouse button on the back, right now I have it set to always go to my shotgun slot. Wherever I am in my loadout or even in my builds, I click that button and I'm instantly on my shotgun. So these three new actions that I have are literally the three biggest advantages that keyboard and mouse players have. So let's go into arena and see how good they can make a controller play. But make sure you subscribe first. Give me this. Let's go. Dude, holy, this car's bloom is so bad. Okay, bro. I actually can't with this game. So I've been using this for like 40 minutes now, and my very first impression is that this thing is way better than the V2. Although I will say I'm not finding this extra button to be useful yet. I think my muscle memory is just so trained to swap through my weapons the normal way that I just forget to click the shotgun paddle every single time I'm in a fight. Oh, that's a bad place to get caught. There's this gas. Oh. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. With these hammer users, these guys are weirdos. Oh my dude, yeah. I can't. I can't wait till the hammer gets vaulted. I hate this thing. Back in the creative island, real quick to show one thing that I have a slight concern with, and that's the fact that this extra button that they added when you click it actually changes your input to keyboard and mouse. As you can see, the scroll wheel doesn't do that for some reason. The issue here is that most controller players believe that if your input switches to keyboard and mouse, then that means your controller will lose aim assist. I tested this in a myths video and found it to be true. However, in my test, it only removed aim assist for like less than two seconds. With the test here, here is me going over the box. You can obviously see the crosshair slows down when it gets over the top of the box. That's aim assist working. Typically, if I like move my mouse and then I try to go, it just scrolls right over the box. And then right there, a few seconds later, I get aim assist back. It's pretty interesting though that I click this button and instantly I still have aim assist. Even while literally holding down the button while going over the box, it's not taking away my aim assist at all. So even though it changes the input to keyboard and mouse, from this test, it doesn't seem like it takes away aim assist. It's also hardwired in, so there's no way to just have the scroll wheel not this. But let me go hop back in arena and we'll test this out some more. Holy! Oh my. That was the most I think I've ever seen the scar fry this chapter. This is already my third game, and I'm just not box fighting people. Like, I really haven't used the scroll wheel that much quite yet. But I'm definitely seeing some progression, getting more comfortable. Just the random gameplay. Like, when I'm looting, I'm constantly scrolling up. Every once in a while, when I build, I keep messing around and resetting it. So maybe not a ton of noticeable progression within fights yet. But I think that'll come soon. Here we go. Here's the box fight I was just talking about. Oh, look at that quick reset. Dude, I don't even care if that was weird play. That guy was being so annoying earlier. Oh, quick scroll reset. Oh. Yeah, let's just not talk about that. Thank God I got that kill. Oh, my aim is so shaky. Oh, no match. Let's go! Five Elim Division 6 Arena win with the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel didn't put in that much work, but hey, a win's a win. So apparently, the scroll wheel setup works on all the main platforms, like even PlayStation and Xbox. And right now, I'm obviously using this on PC. With that being said, the single most annoying thing about the scroll wheel is the cable clutter that you have with it. I prefer to play with my controllers plugged in anyway. Then, when I add these two additional features, they each have a cord. That's three cables coming off my controller, and they do provide little cable ties, which helps a little. I mean, once it's all set up, I guess it's fine, but I really wish there was a better solution for that. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Bro didn't even shoot his shotgun. That's how overpowered these SMGs are. Oh, let's go. Take three limbs all day. Dude, I should have got his map. 
Why did I not grab his mask? I mean, there's nothing I can do. I should have got his mat. So I had my slight little annoyance with the cord, but I gotta say, at this point, the positives are far outweighing the negative. I'm most definitely progressing with this, and I think it's a little harder to tell in arena. So I'm gonna quickly head into some creative box fights to really try to highlight this. You holding? Ooh, look at that. See, I can't do that stuff in arena. I can't show off this. Oh, I can't show off the scroll like that. Give me it. Let's go. Wow, it is so nice being able to actually hold my wall. Can't typically do that in arena. Dude, that is so quick. Holy, I love it. Look at that. Oh, let's go. Look at that. Dude, yeah. So this thing is obviously crazy. I think I might consider actually putting it on my controller as like a permanent attachment. Or at least to see how good I can get in like a month or two on. So I mean, realistically, the advantages it provides are insanely good. I mean, even just the scroll of reset alone is worth it. Not to mention the pickup and the shotgun slot. And so far, this is my gameplay with minimal experience. Like I think I've only been playing with this for about an hour and a half. So imagine how good I can be when I actually build my muscle memory and get good on it. But let's get back to arena. Oh, let's go. I'll take free limbs all day. Let's go. I did not mean to. Oh, and I have no mats. I'm not gonna lie, my point gain right now is incredibly slow. It's mostly my fault because I hate fighting off spawn, so I land at these random spots, and I literally end up end game with almost no elims. But I'm slowly getting there. I think I'm exactly like halfway to champs. Oh! No way, I guess one's wall first try. Is this what it feels like to be on low ping? I want it. Oh. Boom, let's go. Let's go. These hammers again, bro. I can't stand them. I literally just can't finish out a game for a win right now. But I do still want to end it on a high note. So let's finish it off with some box fights to show just how much I've actually improved using the scroll wheel today. Those are reset. Boom, let's go. I feel so much more confident box fighting with this. So that's the brand new scroll wheel. Remember to subscribe and use code CARTER2K in the item shop. I've left the link to this in the description if you want. And as always, I hope to catch you in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.